A decade ago, Ukrainians took to the street to protest against their corrupt pro-Russian president Viktor Yanukovych. Despite facing a harsh crackdown, the revolution of dignity persisted, leading Yanukovych to flee to Russia. Soon after, Russia invaded eastern Ukraine and annexed Crimea. After years of low-intensity war, on February 22, 2022, Putin started a full-scale invasion, aiming to conquer Ukraine within three days. However, Ukrainian forces resisted and, with international support, successfully reclaimed some initially captured territories. In his 2024 New Year address, President Volodymyr Zelensky told Ukrainians their nation has become stronger. Ukraine has become stronger. Ukrainians have become stronger. Two years after Russia's full-scale invasion, Ukrainians are unbowed. A new survey by the National Democratic Institute, a research organization funded by the U.S. and other Western governments, finds 77 percent of Ukrainians are optimistic about their country's future and are doing what they can to help with the war effort. Those sentiments are evident among people VOA interviewed on the street of Kyiv. Uh, my life changed a lot. Uh cardinally changed because uh, I have now I'm volunteering I have a lot of friends in military and I'm like uh, live in this war I have nothing to fear the strengths shown by Ukrainians and the way they responded was unexpected by many says Ivan Libovitsky head of the Frontier Institute a policy think tank in Kyiv it's the people it's the resilience that is in the people is what actually surprised uh, the world and I think uh, this was one of the things that the West did not anticipate, was how determined uh, Ukrainians would be, how resilient they would be, how strong they would be. Yet today, as battlefield losses mount and the war settles into a punishing stalemate, Ukrainians are adopting a more realistic perspective on the war, says Marcin Valetsky, Ukraine's country director at the National Democratic Institute, which conducts regular polls. And to realize that this would be a long war, in May 2022, um, majority of Ukrainians were thinking this is going to be up to six months. Right now, 43% believe the war will continue for at least another 12 months. The survey suggests most Ukrainians strongly prioritize seeing their country become a more democratic. When asked by NDI how important it is to them that Ukraine become a functional democracy, 93% said it was important or very important. The major challenge for the country um, when we ask about key institutions which have the highest level of trust when it comes to fighting corruption, on the first place you have investigative journalists. On the second place you have a civil society. So the spirit of revolution of dignity is still there. You know, Ukrainians would like to see journalists and civil society controlling political elite. Before Russia's full-scale invasion, NDI's polls showed differences in public opinion on joining NATO between the more Russian-speaking regions to the south and east and the rest of Ukraine. Two years later, almost nine out of ten respondents want to see their country join NATO, and support for EU membership is even higher. Most of the Ukrainians realize that EU membership, NATO membership, this is going to be a long process. This is going to be a marathon and they're getting their running shoes. They're prepared for that. Nearly 90% of Ukrainians expresses worry over a diminishing global backing for Ukraine. As Ivan Libovitsky sees it, the world must realize Ukraine is fighting to defend the very values that the West holds dear. We hear the voices from the West uh, that it's fatigued. That actually means that the Russians have scored a victory against the West in the West. And that is exactly the problem that Ukrainians have been yelling about, that look, uh, the Russians see the weaknesses. Ukrainians view reduced international support, corruption, internal divisions and disinformation as top threats, second only to Russia's military aggression.